friends, it's Miss Lori from Imagine Children's Museum, and I'm going to show you today how you can make your very own May Day basket. May Day is a day that we celebrate the coming of spring. It's celebrated every year on May 1st, and countries all over the world celebrate it. One way we celebrate is we make little baskets and we fill them with beautiful flowers and you take them to people's houses. You hang, hang it on the door, you knock on the door and you run away. And if you're able to hide and watch them open the door, it is really fun to watch their surprise and their delight in finding the basket full of flowers on their door. So I'm gonna show you how you can make that today. Now it's very important when you are looking for your flowers that you get permission first to cut the flowers. Some people aren't so fond of people coming into their yard and just nipping flowers. So make sure you have permission first. So as you can see, I have different kinds of baskets I've made. You can use all different kinds of materials you have at home. I used a paper cup and I just hole punched it. And this was a bright, fun paper cup. So I thought I just added some decorations on it and a ribbon. And in this one, I actually taped some paper flowers onto straws. So if you're not able to cut flowers or get fresh flowers, you can make your own flowers. I did a paper cup on this one also, and this one I just covered it with paper, and I wrote fun little sayings that I feel like the recipient is, like, you are smart, you are kind, you always make me smile, things like that, because I thought that would bring joy to somebody. Now you can use all different kinds of paper. You can use printer paper, colored printer paper, or construction paper. You can even use like scrapbooking paper with fun designs on it. So it's all up to you. This is your creation. Your basket isn't going to look like mine, but it's going to be special for you. All right, let me show you how to make our May Day baskets. Now I've included in the link below a template that you can print out. If you don't feel like maybe you can draw this, it kind of helps cut the paper. I drew this up and uh, I'm including it today. So I've already printed one out and I cut it out. Next, you line it up on your paper and you take a pen or pencil or marker and you trace it until it comes like this. And then you cut it out. The next step is you fold the little fold that is on the template. You can see this little fold here. So that, that's there. So you can fold that and you want to decorate the side that is not folded down. So that's going to be the back side of your basket. Next comes the fun part, decorating the paper. I started one here, so I'm just gonna finish it and I'm gonna write Happy May Day on it. All right, so the next step is you take your folded side and your straight side and you bend them together. Now, this you can glue, you can tape it, but today I'm going to show you a very easy thing to do and you can staple it. Make sure you have permission from your parents to use a stapler or get some help using it. And I'm gonna put three little staples in there. Now next, on the paper that I drew my template for my basket on, I just went ahead and cut a paper handle now this, you can use ribbon, you can use lace, you can use paper, be creative. And today I'm just gonna staple that on there. And then the 
other side. And there we go, there's my basket. Next, I'm going to stuff the basket. It's really fun, I had some leftover Easter grass from Easter baskets. I'm gonna put that in there. In this one, I use the leaves as the filler in there. And that's really fun too. You can do whatever you'd like. And I think I'm going to grab a daffodil. My favorite color, red. And I gotta have a purple tulip in there. And I'm just going to fill this basket with flowers. And there you have it our May Day basket. Now, if you decide to do this at home, I would love to see them. Please take a picture and add it to the comments below. All right, you guys, have a great day and happy spring and happy May Day.